right it means when you put probe over here onto the patient onto the patient and when you drag it towards the left side to get the left kidney you are not keeping the probe <coughs> at that position where you got the right kidney you have to move some centimeters up and posterior that is why you are telling patient ultimaro got it when he is then the center so that is why center is hyperechoic as compared to the periphery which we will discuss in kub so here we are discussing these points only now the point here is that if 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 i am having a calculus over here in this kidney i am having a calculus over here this is the calculus is calculus try to understand is this calculus more echogenic than central it is 95 percent and high positive predictive value and if combined with memo so it is a like very good scanning tool so this is that linear probe that i told you high frequency probe so you we uh, this frequency below 7.5 megahertz is not acceptable because why we want to scan this superficial organ now so the lower, lower frequency we are not going to choose so now okay everything is ready now paper is not having any fixed location fixed in the sense when it is developing so it might be located towards a bit towards right or a bit toward left so if you are not finding gallbladder anywhere just try to change your scan plane that is the most important <coughs> because your patient is fasting for since last 8 hours now you are looking you are not getting it in the GB fossa, just try to change the scan plane and try to find it out there. Now try to understand, if resolution, what is deciding the resolution first? The resolution is deciding, frequency. deciding by what? Frequency. By that frequency. And that frequency is decided by that wavelength. Are you correlating the things? Now, when I am having a high frequency probe, the resolution will be more, but Penetration will be less and vice versa. Now, pointing towards left side of baby. So, try to see now. See this because this is head and this is spine. Now, the baby is placed like this. So, see this. This is the right side of baby, otherwise. So, this is right side, this is left side. And now the baby is lying here like this. So, my right hand, I am folding my fingers, thumb will blown which your machine is catching. So, that means that fetal brain development has started. So, that is not an abnormal thing. Now, what all these are going to form is forebrain. Forebrain is further, this is primary vesicle. It is going to get further divided into telencephalon and diencephalon. Telencephalon is, will be forming cerebral hemispheres. Cerebral hemispheres... <coughs> in the center this if you are knowing anatomy nicely nothing is difficult for you so this is corpus callosum can you see the connecting point of the two cerebral hemisphere the, these are the four parts that we discussed now rostrum genu body splenium then this you are having here the ventricular system is coming fourth ventricle where I told you this is cerebellum in front of cerebellum. That's that great. Lekin, as the age is advancing and this diastolic flow is increasing, so this value, this, this D, na, it start like coming up, up, up. That means it is high diastolic flow. And the moment you are getting three consecutive good waveform, machine will auto trace it for you. That yes, okay, this is good. And when you are, if you don't want to have an auto trace, you can do manual tracing. <coughs> Two graphs are needed. Start from here, 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 tracing. Patient first. So I came to know very early about the positioning of uterus. So if I know the position, I'll go in that direction only. Like the patient is coming, if uh, she is having retained product or she is having any polyp, I want to remove it out and I don't know the direction. So I can, when I'm putting my sound, I can go here, there, there, anywhere and I can make a false passage or I may land into perforation. So it is very important to know about uterus. This is endometrium over here 
this is mucus plug now see this is the mucus plug over here so cervix is measured from here to this point so this will be the extra internal and this is the external loss and what is this over here this is the vagina stripe over here you can make out if i can draw an imaginary line which is going through vaginal stripe like this and from here it is about a 90 degree your bladder should not be over distended and neither it should be box is going to reflect something which is like frequency freq then this knob will reflect depth here on the dialog box this will reflect say uh, uh, gain is there but it will reflect say focus or something like that which this dialog box is going to tell you this is for 2d scan now i am switching on to color mode i have pressed color button here now the color box box is there i can increase or decrease it by rotating the mouse on your machine your engineer is going to tell you how to increase or decrease the size of this box so first important thing is always keep a check on the size of this box this is uh, not like uh, like uh, the bigger the box the better you are going to get uh, focus no your size should be as much as your age.